What's up, guys? Sorry for that delay in the beginning. My quick time is like stupid as hell. <laughs> so, in the last C++ tutorial, I taught you guys how to start out a console RPG game. Uh, these are a lot of fun to make, and on the forums, they will tell you that, oh, console is so hard. Um, it's not good for beginners. Just learn SDL. Do some 2D. But in some cases, people like to learn harder ways, and to me, console is not hard. Um, SDL is hard as hell, and if you're a beginner, I don't really suggest trying to install SDL right away. I think I believe people should get like a general understanding of things first. But uh, SDL is hard. I can't even install SDL. Like, seriously, like it's it's so difficult, especially with Xcode. So, in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you um, another part of an RPG aspect. Um, we're going to be doing a character customization. So this involves name, age, sex, race. Um, an HUD bar, a money, um, an HP amount. Like an HUD bar is really, really cool. Like it, it's really awesome. It shows your values every time they go to input something. It, it updates their HUD all the time. Uh, it's just cool. So we're gonna define some things. We're gonna make a string for um, input. Just for now, we might add a subject to change. And then we're gonna make. Um, I hate when this is like that. Ah. We're gonna make an int for HP an int for HP and that's all for now. Uh, we should make the string for name and you're going to need a string for age, string sex, string race. And if you really want to get freaky, I mean, <laughs> not like that, like in like an RPG way, you could do like race, you could do like eye color, you know, it's it, it's a lot more, but hey, if you, if you really want to go in depth, then go right ahead, I support you in that. So, first things first, C out. There's also a way you could do colors, which may be in my next tutorial, so stay tuned for that. So C out. Select your name. There we go, we could do enter a character name. Okay, and then I don't I'm not gonna end the line. We're gonna do a semicolon. You'll see why. C in. And notice how these little arrows right here. You really want to focus on them. The C in aims in, and C out aims out. Yeah, I know, simple. But I mess it up all the time. So enter your character name, and then we're going to put C in name. Pretty much doing this statement right here is pretty much in Java saying, um, let's say you name, you know Java scanners, you name the scanner SC, it'd be like next, it'd be like SC dot next. But in this case, it would be name equals SC dot next. So we're pretty much telling the C in that whatever the C in, whatever they enter, is going to be the name string. So it's really easy to understand, trust me. So then we do C out again, and then we do um, enter a character age. C in age, and then C out, um, enter. It's pretty much the same thing all the time. Enter a character sex, semicolon, C in sex. Out. And I know I'll go a little bit fast through this because this is all repetition, so you can just pause it at any time when I'm done or whatever. So finally enter a character race. C in, and guess what it is? Race. Alright, so let's run it real quick. Okay, there's a problem. Oh, I have two for HP. Alright, there we go. Enter character name. Ryan Cohen. Age, 16. My birthday's in four days. Can't wait. Um, the sex part, <laughs> no, should be um, M slash F. Don't worry about that little error. Uh, is there a character race? Human, dwarf, beast. Symbol is that. No, I want to save it. Run that. Enter your name. Ryan Cohen. Sixteen. M. Uh, human. All right, and that's when it. That's that's all that we've coded so far. So once that is all coded, we're going to. We're gonna set the value of HP first. I think we should do int. and eh, not do money. We don't need that right now. It, it's gonna be the same thing as HP. So now we're gonna make our HUD bar. So we're gonna we're gonna oh shit. We're gonna, we're gonna let them know that they're all done. So C out. Okay. 
um, bringing you to your HUD. Now we're going to end this line because that is the end of the whole statement. Okay, just running it to make sure everything's alright. So, stop running it. Alright, so now what we need to do is do a C out, and when we do, um, first thing is we should display the name. So, name. And then I'm going to do this. I'm going to do like a little thing, like a divider. One, two, three, one, two, three. And then after that divider, it should be name, age, not three. Three, one, two, three. Age, sex. One, two, three, one, two, three. Not a pipe. Sex. And then we had race. And then we're going to have one more, one, two, three, one, two, three, and then HP, and one. That should run. All right, thank God. So, <laughs> so oh, I'm just going to buzz through this real quick. All right, so that's our HUD. So it pretty much displays Ryan for M Human 20. I'm going to fix this up a little bit more. Um, front of HP. Fix that up a little bit. Just to, you know, make this look a little more appealing, you could say. Alright, let's run that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fill it out the correct way, because now it's gonna actually display. Okay, name Ryan, age 16, sex male, race human, HP 20. So this HUB, this HUB, this HUD bar is actually really freaking sweet, especially in like if you're making a console game, you can always make it stay. Every time they have to input something, it'll be right there. So like, in this case, I'll just do C in. Um, I'll just type in input. I'll make a string real quick, just to, as an example. So there. So like every time you go to input something, it will it, it will be like I'm gonna return this now. It will always be like like every time you do it as C and input, just copy and paste the HUD bar and it will update. Like let's say your your HP is getting subtracted, it will update it like on the next enter or C in because HP is loading the it's it's taking the HP's data from the int HP, which is now equal to twenty up here. So if I Let's just say I do watch this ready. HP subtract five. Well, I would have to make final HP again, but I'm not it, final HP. I'm gonna do this really quick because it's gonna be too long of a video. Equals HP subtract ten. So then just copy this line, paste it there, run it. Alright. So, uh, and then and then over here in the HP, you're gonna change this to final HP. Sorry about that, guys. So there, as you can see, it subtracts the amount. Obviously, it should. So, and every time you do a C in, if and you want the HUD bar to always be visible, just copy the line. It's really not hard at all. So that will conclude today's tutorial, guys. Thank you for watching.